Hello and welcome to A Brief Case of Luxury, a place where we love to chat about all things related to life, learning, and luxury. Yes, 90% of the time we do love to talk about designer purses and things of that nature. But as some of you already know, I am a business professor and researcher by day. So like many others, I too have been swept up by this unworldly frenzy surrounding this new AI system, ChatGPT. You know, everyone is in a tizzy trying to understand the limits of ChatGPT, its ethical boundaries, and what that means for the future of work in multiple fields, really. It truly does seem to be a disruptive piece of technology. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with it yet, ChatGPT is an online chatbot trained by AI to provide information in a very conversational manner. It is currently available for free, and you literally just type in any question you have and just watch it go. There are tons of videos on what it's capable of, so go nuts if you're interested. But everyone is busy singing its praises, right? And granted, no doubt it is very impressive and it will only get more impressive over time. However, I've bumped into quite a few of its limitations within the past few days of playing around with it. And this next one being one of them, in my humble opinion, at least. I'd be so curious to know what y'all think, especially my purse lovers slash experts out there. So I'm in front of my computer today when I should be working, but I wanted to show you all how much ChatGPT knows about designer purses, because why not, right? So my first task for ChatGPT is to design me a capsule designer purse collection, which it gladly did. Now granted, the trick to using ChatGPT is to refine your questions to essentially get better answers. So I asked for a 10 piece collection. There's no rhyme or reason to that number. I just wanted to give it a cap for the maximum number of pieces. I also wanted to clarify colors for each suggestion. So here we go. Here's what ChatGPT recommends in terms of building a capsule designer purse collection with color suggestions for each. I'll try to pop up pictures of each as we go so we can fully visualize this. All right, here we go. We have first the Chanel Classic Flap and Beige. Second, we have the Gucci Marmont shoulder bag in black. Third, we have the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in Damier Azure. Fourth, we have Prada Galleria Safiano leather tote in red. Okay. In fifth, we have the Saint Laurent Lulu monogram shoulder bag in a baby pink. Sixth, we have the Fendi baguette in yellow. Seven, we have the Hermes Birkin bag in orange. Again, they don't really provide you with like more detail, like size and stuff like that. All right, number eight, we have the Coach Legacy Leather Tote in tan. I don't even know if that's a current bag. All right, number nine, we have the Michael Kors Jet Set Travel Tote in navy. And in 10th place, we have the Kate Spade New York Sam Tote in a green. Okay, interesting. So it seems like the premise for a capsule collection, according to ChatGPT, is material, style, and price, aiming for well-roundedness and versatility. So again, textbook premises for building a capsule anything. What do you think of the actual selections, both in terms of brands, styles, and colors? Let me know down in the comments. I also made slight changes. How about a five-piece collection on a budget? Here are ChatGPT's top five picks for designer purses under $1,000. Number one, the Gucci Marmont shoulder bag. Okay. Number two, the Coach Legacy leather tote again. Number three, the Michael Kors Jet Set travel tote again. Number four, the Kate Spade New York Sam tote again. And this one's new, the Rebecca Minkoff Love Crossbody. Or here's a five-piece collection without a budget. In terms of high-end designer purses priced at $10,000 or more, we have the Chanel Boy Bag in an exotic skin, I'm guessing, the Hermes Birkin, the Louis Vuitton Tambour Moon Turbulon GMT, I'll have to look that piece up, the Gucci Sylvie, and again, the Fendi Baguette. What do you think? Now, capsule collections are meant to be pretty timeless, and one of the limitations of ChatGPT is its predictive capability, right? So let's ask it to predict 2023 bag trends with examples for each. I like that it does give a little caveat about its predictive capability. So this list is based on current fashion and market trends. And here are the up and coming bags for 2023, according to ChatGPT. Okay, ChatGPT is really having to think about what the top 10 designer bags are for 2023. But here we go. We have in first place a structured bag like the Loewe puzzle bag. Okay. Bags in bold colors. Again, the Prada Galleria Safiano Leather Tote in red. It loves that bag. Okay, for mini bags, we have the Chanel Boy Camera Bag. 
All right, number four, we have transparent bags, clear and PVC bags, okay? In number fifth place, we have textured bags. Again, they count the Saint Laurent Lulu bag as a textured bag, all right? Um, in number sixth place, they have 90s inspired bags. Again, the Fendi baguette, all right? Number seven, we have bags made with natural materials like raffia, straw, and jute. All right, number eight, we have chain link straps. Again, like the Gucci Marmont shoulder bag, okay? Um, number nine, logo bags. Okay, it's really struggling to think of logo bags. Let's see what it comes up with. All right, the Gucci Ophidia bag, okay? And number 10, we have recyclo sorry, recycled and sustainable bags, like the Stella McCartney Falabella bag. I'll have to look that one up. Again, let me know what do you think? How did ChatGPT do? Is ChatGPT ready to start its own designer bag YouTube channel yet? Now that's really all I had for today. I'm not here to debate about the ethicality of ChatGPT, either as a researcher or a professor, nor am I here to test its research abilities in terms of data analysis, hypothesis writing, new knowledge generation, etc. I just wanted to have some fun with it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time.